welcome. Thank you for stopping by. This simple sunrise scarf is inspired by Mary Poppins. Hence the colors and the very simple, simple lacy design there. I had wanted to make a Mary Poppins scarf for my sister and I could not find any patterns that really looked like the one in the movie. So I came up with this one. I did add the tassels like she has. Of course you can make it without the tassels and it doesn't have to be in those Mary Poppins colors. This is Country Peach Karen Simply Soft. This is um, Papaya Karen Simply Soft. I did make a scarf out of the Yarn Be Tender Touch in this color here with a slightly bigger hook. I think I used a seven millimeter hook and it is very soft and very squishy. And I did not add the tassels. There is a natural flare at the end of the scarf. For the scarf, you will need your hook and your yarn choice, a pair of scissors, a darning needle to even those ends, and a measuring tape if you want to measure your tassels. So to get started, with your scarf, you'd need your hook and your yarn. I am using a 5.5 millimeter and I'm using a Karen Simply Soft. This is Country Peach. What you're going to do is you are going to chain a multiple of four plus two. It depends on how wide you would like your scarf. So I'm going to chain 28 and then plus two, um, that will make it 30. So four times seven is 28 plus two is 30. One, two, three, four. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. So we have a chain of thirty. What you're going to do to begin is the second chain from the hook, you're going to single crochet. So we'll single crochet into that second chain and then you will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. You will skip three chains. So this is the one we just worked into or with the single crochet in the chain five and then we skip three one, two, three. Into that fourth, we're going to single crochet. Then we will chain five again. One, two, three, five. We will skip three chains. One, two, three, and single crochet into that fourth one. We're going to do this all the way to the end of the chain. Here we are at the end of the row. So I'm going to do the last chain five. And then we will skip three chains, one, two, three, and into that fourth and last chain, single crochet. That completes row one. We will chain one and then turn. We don't do anything fancy at either end of the rows when you are crocheting. So from here we are going to chain five. This is beginning of row two. One, two, three, four, five. Into that chain five space we will single crochet. Then chain five and single crochet into the chain five space from the previous row and that's all we do until we get to the end of the row
There is our chain five going into the last chain five space, single crochet. And then we are going to chain one and turn. That is going to create this natural flare when the scarf is finished at the end. It'll have this subtle, subtle little flare. Then we chain five and we repeat. We single crochet into that chain five space, chain five, then single crochet into the chain five space. We do that for the remainder of the pattern. That's all it is. It's chaining five and then single crocheting into the chain five space from the previous row. At the end of every row, you'll chain one and turn. And then at the beginning of the next row, chain five and go right into the chain five space and single crochet. So you can just keep going for as many rows as you'd like. You can use whatever type of yarn you'd like that will change the laciness and the look of the scarves or yeah scarves so just have fun with the simple simple scarf in just a moment I'll show you how to do some tassels For the Mary Poppins inspired scarf, I do change colors and you can change colors even if you're not doing these exact colors. I'm just going to show you what I do on the ends. There are many ways you can change colors when you're crocheting. What I like to do is I finish the row and I'm just going to take out that chain one. I ended right there with the single crochet in the chain five space. And I'm going to grab my other yarn, which is Papaya Karen Simply Soft. This is Country Peach, and then this is Papaya. They were just the perfect colors that I had on hand for the Mary Poppins scarf. So I put my hook right in there, and then I join my new color with a little slip stitch. And what I do is I clip my yarn about three or four inches. And I knot my yarns together. So I just do one and then two. And then of course I will weave in those ends which will give it a little more stability. And then I will make that chain one to turn. And I chain my five. One, two, three, four, five. And just continue with the pattern. So I'm going to stop right here and show you guys how I make the tassels. Um, what I do is I take the yarn and I cut about uh, strips of about a foot, about 12 inches or so. And I just clip those. I'm just going to make one tassel real quick. I do about four strands per tassel for this particular look for the scarf here. Of course, you can make your tassels as thin or as thick as you'd like. And one more. I just do four because I found that it just completed the look of the scarf. So here we go. And then all I do is my yarn about 12 inches. I just fold it in half and then I have the loop, the loop right there. Now the bottom of the scarf, I will find those spaces. This is the, this is our chain row right here. And I put a tassel in each of those spaces at the bottom. I just take the loop, 
bring those all through and then the rest of the yarn I take it through and pull it and then we have a simple simple tassel you of course would let, want to trim the ends now for the tassels if you're concerned that they might loosen up over time what I like to do is I use a lot of embroidery floss so I take some of that because you can find that in a lot of colors and two strands of it I use and I just stitch real quickly just two or three stitches on the tassels there and that gives it um, just a little more strength so they won't become loose uh, and there you have it